go flip potential. Here flip means that we need flip potential relative to the vacuum energy density. But uh, we know that there are many corrections like radiative, radiative corrections and quantum gravity effects. So it is non-trivial to maintain the flatness of the potential. So this is uh, the requirement. And a powerful way to, to maintain the flatness is to impose a symmetry. In this sense, action is an appealing candidate for implanton. Action is very simple. So action is a number Goldstone boson associated with spontaneous flow one symmetry. So it is a flat direction in the absence of explicit U1 breaking. And it is periodic and the periodic stage determined by uh, the decay constant. And decay constant is generally, uh, uh, decay constant generally co corresponds to the, the energy scale where the U1 symmetry is spontaneous broken. So action is the phase direction and decay constant corresponds to the the packing value of the radial component, which is spontaneous break, broke, breaks the U1 symmetry. And uh, owing to the, uh, the associated safety symmetry, uh, which is a free zone, free zone broken by non perturbative effects, action has, uh, has uh, almost flat direction. So it is literally very light. And in the minimal setup, the potential written in this way. So it is periodic. And there are several interesting features. One is that the size of the potential is finite. So that means that the, 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 the potential is uh, bounded both from below and above. And another important thing is that the size and shape of the potential is insensitive to the, uh, the decay constant, F. So those are the, the interesting features. Action was considered uh, as, a, as an uh, inflaton already, and the minimal set of uh, the action driven inflation is called natural inflation. Uh, however, uh, the natural inflation is marginally constant, consistent with the recent Planck observations on CMB. So as you can see, the, the, those are the, the, the natural inflation uh, result. So it is marginally consistent with the, the Planck result. Here, NS is the spectral index and R is the tensor to scalar ratio. Those are determined by the shape of the potential. And another thing is that the natural inflation requires a uh, super Planckian, trans Planckian uh, decay constant. This is uh, not so good because quantum gravity effects, which can be parameterized this way with some positive rational number n. So those quantum gravity effects may spoil the, the validity of the field theoretic description. And also there are related issues like weak gravity conjecture and swampland conjecture. So people considered uh, some models, extensions to avoid those problems. So one way is to consider a scenario where uh, there are multiple actions and the, the, the multiple actions can give uh, action decay constant much higher than the physical symmetry breaking scale. So in those scenarios, the action, con action decay constant is not a physical scale, but it's some uh, the result of the some collective behavior, behavior of the multiple actions. So there are alignment mechanism and also there are recently proposed clogger mechanism. Now let us move to our model. So we basically consider hybrid inflation. In hybrid inflation, there are two fields. One is the slow rolling inflaton and the other is waterfall field. And in this scenario, the inflation uh, is over when the waterfall field becomes tachyony. So the, the end of the inflation trigger is triggered by the by a waterfall transition. So in this region, the waterfall field 
is fixed at the origin due to large mass from the, uh, the inflaton field value. So as you can see, there is the water field obtains mass from the inflaton field value. So it is very heavy at the, uh, during the inflation. But at some point, it becomes tachyonic. So tachyonic transition occurs. And then the slow roll conditions are, are broken and the inflation is terminated in almost instant, instant, instantaneously. So this is uh, this figure shows how the how hybrid inflation occurs. So here the water pole transition is second order transition. So it is smooth, very smooth. This is the idea of hybrid in inflation. In our inflation, in our scenario, we consider action as an inflaton field, and we uh, utilize potential failure. So again, in our scenario, we have two fields. One is the one is the slow rolling inflaton, and the other is water field. And uh, we use action field as an inflaton because it has it naturally has very flat potential owing to the uh, the safety symmetry. And as for the water field, there are various options. And here uh, we consider the case where chi is complex field and, and we impose U1 symmetry in order to forbid a dangerous tadpole, tadpole term in the uh, scale of potential. Now the question is how to induce tachyon instability of the water field which is necessary to terminate the inflation. And the idea is uh, to use potential barrier uh, along the waterfall direction. This barrier traps the waterfall field at the origin. And so it allows slow motion of the inflaton, phi. And the barrier disappears when the inflaton reaches at, a, at, some, at some value, at a critical value and then waterfall transition occurs. Uh, differently from the uh, ordinary hybrid inflation, in our scenario, the waterfall transition is a uh, first order or crossover. And this figure shows the difference between the first, second, and crossover uh, transition. As you can see, this gray line shows second order transition. So the vacuum value is continuous. However, the derivative is not continuous. This is second order transition. And the, this orange line shows first order transition. So the vacuum value is not continuous. And the, in the medium between those two, the red line shows crossover. So everything is very uh, smooth. Although the waterfall transition can be a uh, first or crossover transition, but uh, the, the, the transition is relatively smooth in the sense that the barriers of the bubbles of the true vacuum can be nucleated at the end, end of inflation. But uh, soon the, 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 the barrier disappears. So the bubbles cannot expand much in the sense the transition is smooth, relatively smooth. So there is barrier along the waterfall direction and it shrinks as inflaton evolves. This is the main idea of the, our inflation scenario. So the point is that potential barrier can still be an important ingredient of a slow inflation. So the, the situation is quite different from the old inflation. Old inflation means that there is force vacuum uh, and the, there is true vacuum separated by a potential barrier and tunneling occurs and then inflation is terminated. This is old inflation. However, uh, it is not viable. So in old inflation, we need another slow inflation after the tunneling. This is the situation in old inflation. So now uh, I will show the, our model, explicit model. The model is quite simple. There is constant term and there is effective uh, mass squared term of the water field. And we consider quartic 
negative quartic term for the water for field. And also we introduced a higher dimensional operator to stabilize, to lift up the water for potential. And finally, we include the, uh, the inflaton, the action potential. And here the water for mass parameter depends on the action like this. And you, uh, you may be familiar with this kind of uh, interaction. This is the action induced uh, scalar mass. And this kind of action uh, induced mass term was first considered in cosmological relaxation of the Higgs version mass. So this is relaxation model. So basically uh, our model is motivated by this cosmological relaxation of the Higgs version mass. So the point is that the water pole mass parameter depends on action. That is a very important feature. And for the action potential, we simply consider cosine type potential, uh, which we assume to be induced by some non perturbative effects. And here, the constant term is uh, fixed by the condition, uh, the Venice cosmology constant at the true vacuum. So this is the, our model. This is very simple. Of course, you can consider a uh, uh, other type of model where the waterfall has, for instance, a uh, cubic term or uh, some other terms or positive uh, quartic term. The point is that anyway, we need a potential failure along the waterfall uh, direction. Then any kind of potential will work. And so, here is the simple example. And there are several uh, mass parameters, small m, the, the, the water pool mass parameter, and mu determines the size of the action and water field interaction. And lambda is dimensionless uh, quartic coupling. And capital lambda is cutoff scale of the theory. And capital M determines the overall size of the uh, action potential. So there are one, two, three, four mass parameters, mass pool parameters, and one dimensionless parameter in our model. And those shows the parameter space our, uh, of our interest. So we will consider small m compared to uh, mu. This is uh, required to induce waterfall transition. So as you can see, Water pole transition means that uh, effective the water pole mass parameter squared is positive during the during uh, inflation, but it becomes negative at some point, depending on the the inflat inflat evolution. So we need this condition. This is for water pole transition, and we uh, consider this parameter space. This is uh, actually, as we will see soon, uh, the, if we, the, as, you, uh, as I show already, m to the first determines the overall size of the inflaton potential. If the overall size, the size of the inflaton potential is much smaller than the, uh, the, 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 the constant term, then we can reduce the uh, inflaton decay constant, which are required for the uh, inflation. So this is very important to reduce the inflaton decay constant below the Planck scale. This is this is important. And also we consider relatively small mu square compared to vacuum energy density. This is to make the true, true vacuum insensitive to water pole mass parameter. And then you will uh, easily get the distillation. This is the inflation scale during inflation. So it is determined by the constant term. And at the minimum, you will uh, find this relation. The, the, the vacuum energy density V naught is determined by the quartic coupling and the cutoff scale capital lambda. Uh, on the other hand, the scale of waterfall transition is determined by those two mass parameters, mu and m, and also the, the relative phase alpha. Here alpha is the relative phase of those two action dependent terms. Those are the, uh, the situation. 
So uh, I will summarize the roles of the potential barrier. So the, the barrier uh, separate the scale of inflation and the scale of water for transition. So I will show the, the figure. So along the water per field direction, the potential looks like this one. So there is a barrier, sorry, there is a barrier close to the origin and there is a true vacuum of it far from the origin. And the, 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 the width and height of the, the potential potential barrier is determined by mu and m and true vacuum. The depth of true vacuum is determined by the cut of scale lambda. And the separation of the scales is, uh, is possible due to the potential barrier in our scenario. This is the role, role of the barrier. And the barrier, uh, in the end, the barrier makes the action potential much flatter because the, the, the along this direction, the action becomes much flatter. And in our scenario, the ratio between the overall size of implant potential relative to the vacuum energy density can be arbitrarily small. And this uh, is very important because the variable inflation is uh, obtained over a wide range of action inflation decay constant and inflation scale. So you may wonder what is the difference between hybrid natural inflation. Actually, hybrid natural inflation corresponds to the case without potential failure. So this is a case how with positive quartic water pole coupling. So there is no barrier along the water pole uh, direction. So in this case, uh, the scale of inflation and the scale of water for transition are not separated because the vacuum energy density, the, the depth of the true vacuum is fixed by mu, not by the color scale. So this is the case. So in this case, if we uh, draw the potential along the water flow direction, it would look like this one. So the water flow transition is second order. Oh, yeah. So everything is determined by mu in this case. So there is no scale separation. This means that uh, there is a severe constraint on the possible range of uh, overall size of action inflaton potential relative to the vacuum energy density. And more precisely, you can see that, uh, as you can see, we have this higher dimensional prayer, right? Then the closed, closed water pool loop gives correction like this one, right? So without fine tuning, the quantity coupling of the waterfall field uh, is generally above the loop vector, right? And also you can see that there is, this is the effective waterfall mass parameter, right? And the closed waterfall loop keeps like this one, there is some, cut of scale, lambda star, right? This is the result of closed water pool loop. So the, the overall size of the water pool at the overall size of the inflaton potential is bounded from below in the sense without some fine tuning. So combining those two results, you can see that the the ratio between those two parameters are severely constrained. So there is a uh, low bound. So we cannot uh, arbitrarily, we, we cannot make it arbitrarily small in hybrid electrical inflation. In addition, uh, to me, actually the hybrid inflation, in hybrid inflation, the, the, the required decay constant is below the Planck scale, but not much below the Planck scale compared to our scenario. And also the model include a 
uh, lots of field to implement the, the, the water for transition. However, in our scenario, we used action dependent uh, mass dump of the water for field. So uh, this action dependent, dependent mass dump makes the, the, the model quite simple compared to hybrid natural inflation. As you can see, this model appeared uh, before the cosmological relaxation of the Higgs boson mass. So they uh, added uh, three or four fields and imposed uh, discrete symmetry to realize their, their idea. Uh, I have a question. Uh, yes, sure. So you have a coupling between uh, inflaton phi and the waterfall field chi. Yes, right. Uh, you talked about uh, one loop correction to the waterfall, uh, sorry, one loop correction to the inflaton. Yes, right. Then what about the uh, one loop correction to the waterfall field? You, you could also generate quadratically divergent mass for the waterfall field? Oh, that's a very good uh, question. So I will mention about it soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, there is a loop correction to the waterfall mass. So there is the M square receives uh, such a corrections, right? So I have another question, maybe before you to continue. Uh, you talked about differences between the standard second order waterfall field and your yes. scenario with the yes. first order. And uh, is there any slow roll inflation after first order phase transition? In our scenario, you mean? Yeah, in your case. In, uh, no, no, I don't think so. Because in our scenario, the waterfall field is mm -hmm. much, much heavier than the action, the inflaton field. So I there mean, is a mass hierarchy between those ah, fields. I see. So this so, waterfall field, there is no slow roll. No slow roll. Right. The waterfall, uh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It looks like uh, there's a flat <laughs> right. in your plot. So I mean, in your in plot. The conventional, yes. Not, not this one, but. Uh, right. Uh, so in the conventional hybrid inflation, mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned, the slow inflation can occur even after the, the waterfall transition. Mm -hmm. some, some amount of effort you can get. But in our, in our scenario, that is not possible because the, the inflaton and the waterfall field has the, the masses of those two fields uh, has some hierarchy. They are the mass, there is mass hierarchy. So very quickly, the water free field uh, goes down to the true minimum. So the situation is quite different from the conventional hybrid inflation. So, so in your case, transition, water for transition occurs after uh, the end of inflation? Uh, I would say that the end of inflation is triggered by yeah, triggered the, by the waterfall. Yes, waterfall right, field. right. Right. Uh, triggered by the waterfall. Yeah, waterfall field. And the waterfall field was that trapped in the origin? Yes, right. And the During beginning. the inflation. Yes, right. And then because of the inflation, because of the inflaton field value, yes. uh, you are changing the effective mass. Yes, right for the waterfall field. And then, yes, right. then the transition occurs because of the change in the mass. The barrier shrinks. Barrier, barrier shrinks. Yes. Then you have a second, you have a first order. First order or crossover, depending on the uh, tunneling rate, right? I see. So so then so. after waterfall field tunnels, inflation ends. Yes, right, exactly, right. Mm, I see. Maybe I can ask what, a different question after, yeah. But, I see, uh, I see. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was wondering about bubble, bubble recreation after I inflation. So I will also mention so, about the so bubble there's some, there might be some inhomogeneities uh, yes, in the sure, standard sure. Uh, inflation model, I mean, trap yes, inflation, so, okay. Right. You can comment so, on that later, okay? Yes, so as you mentioned, Bubbles of true vacuum can be nucleated at the end of inflation. Mm. However, that is uh, at that is at the at the end of inflation. So although bubbles can be nucleated, uh, they can uh, generate inhomogeneous 
own at very small scale. So I think that is not a problem, but uh, it would give some interesting cosmological uh, some effect we expect. So actually we are now examining uh, such an effect. I see. So you still have some gravity wave signal. Yes, right, 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 right. Gravitation waves would be- Even there. though you don't, you don't change CMB. No, yeah. It, but the that small scale, CMB physics, only larger uh, scales. Yes, right, 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 right. Uh, so the physical scale of the CMB is determined by, I uh, determined mm. at the at evolving number about mm. 50 or 60. Mm. Right? So almost at the beginning of the inflation. I see. So already you passed by already really 50 or 60 number, number of yes, right. efforts and you are already in the small scale. Right. Even if you generate something after inflation. Actually, we hope bubbles can generate some inhomogeneity. We hope. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the thing is that the transition is not so strong. I mean, relatively smooth because mm. the barrier disappeared soon. Mm. So, uh, and also the waterfall field reheat the universe. So yes, right, I right. guess that so you might have some dilution, I don't know, some ent entropy production because of uh -huh. the reheating, I don't know. Because uh -huh. the in initially you might have some inhomogeneities produced by bubble nucleation, they might be di somehow dilute. Is that, are they diluted by entropy production during reheating? I, I think so, yeah. So reheating is, uh, the, 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 the water for field uh, plays much important role in reheating in our mm -hmm. scenario mm -hmm. because the mass hierarchy between water for and inflaton. So I think the inhomogeneity from the bubbles uh, would not uh, make any problem in our scenario. Okay, maybe uh, it's, it will be interesting yeah, to see. Yes, right, right. Okay, okay. Right. Thank, thank you very much. So, so one thing we should examine is the tunneling rate because if a tunneling rate is, uh, is sizable, then inflation will end uh, before the barrier disappears, right? So we have to examine the tunneling rate. And the tunneling rate is determined by the nuclear uh, Euclidean action of the uh, waterfall field evaluated on a bounce solution. And the interesting thing is that in our scenario, the bounce solution is insensitive to the higher dimensional operator because the barrier is formed by the competition between mass term and the negative uh, quartic term. Right, so the higher dimensional operator operator does not play any important role uh, to the pound solution, and in that case, uh, the there are already reserved. So, if the effective mass squared is larger than the Hopf scale, then the Holman the Lucia bounce is important, and the Euclidean action is very large. So, the tunneling rate is exponentially suppressed. On the other hand, in the opposite region where the effective mass scale is uh, smaller than the Hubble scale, in this case, uh, uh, the, 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 the Hawking, Hawking most instantons are more important. And the, in this case, the Euclidean action is uh, relatively small. So the tunneling can occur. So to avoid the tunneling during inflation, I mean, uh, to avoid the tunneling before the barrier disappears, we consider the case where mu scale is, mu scale is large enough. So pi over inflation is possible only when this uh, parameter region. And in this parameter region, uh, the waterfall field is heavy enough during the inflation. So it initially, it can initially uh, be fixed at the origin because its mass is larger than the Hubble scale. And the tunneling uh, rate is exponentially suppressed until the inflaton, the action which is close to the critical value. And in our scenario, bubbles uh, can be recreated, but only at the end of inflation. And as we discussed already several times, the barrier 
uh, will disappear quickly. So the phase transition is relatively smooth. So uh, before the bubbles expand much, the barrier disappears. So uh, we do not expect a very uh, violent uh, at the bubble dynamics in our scenario because uh, the, there is no barrier, right? This is the situation. And uh, this is the, uh, I, I will, uh, th we can uh, uh, consider some UV completion of the implanton or action dependent uh, water for field parameter. And but this is exactly the same mechanism considered in cosmological relaxation of the Higgs boson mass. So I will skip this part. The point is that if we consider hidden QCD, hidden sector, hidden QCD with some uh, hidden quarks, then we can uh, naturally generate, induce the required, the action dependent uh, water pole mass term. So there is some combining hidden QCD and there is hidden quark and those maybe this figure shows more clearly. There are quarks, U quark and T quark, and those are the hidden quarks. And the inflaton or action uh, anomalously couples the hidden gluons. And there are mesons below the combining scale and, and below the combining scale. The action and meson mixing leads to those effective uh, mass term of the water field. This is the idea. So if we consider this hidden QCD, those uh, parameters can be explained uh, in a better way. On the other hand, we, you may remember that we also need small m relative to the mu, the mass parameter mu. Small mass uh, requires some explanation as uh, Professor Helmin Lee already mentioned because the small m scale receives radiative corrections from various sources. So small m, the smallest of m may be explained by supersymmetry or anthropic selection. Because if m is too large, then there are two possibilities. One is if m square is positive and if m square is too large, then there is like this one. There is potential barrier, but those period does not shrink, right? If M square is much larger than mu square, then the barrier remains almost the same, independently of the, the implanton field value. So, and the tunneling rate is exponentially suppressed. So this corresponds to the old inflation. So this is not the case that we want. And if M square is negative and is, it is, the size is larger than M square and mu square, then there is only one tree minimum. So inflation is not possible. So anyway, we need M square smaller than mu square. So maybe anthropic selection explain the smallness of M in our scenario. Now let us move on to the cosmological dynamics. Let us first discuss the inflation. So uh, the barrier traps water field at the origin and then the inflaton potential looks like this one. So it is identical to the natural hybrid inflation. So here, if V0 equal to M first, this corresponds to natural inflation, right? And in this case, the axion decay constant, the inflaton decay constant should be larger than Planck scale, as at least five times larger than the Planck scale. And nat in natural inflation, natural hybrid inflation, uh, M to the first is much smaller than the uh, constant term V0. And in this case, F can be much smaller than the Planck scale. And this figure shows schematically how the barrier shrinks as the inflaton evolves. So there is barrier, but it shrinks, and in the end, disappears, and inflation is terminated 
almost instantaneous, instantaneously. And the plainness of the potential can be parameterized by those two slow roll parameters, epsilon and eta. Epsilon is the slope and eta is the, the coverage of the potential. And uh, as in natural inflation, eta is, uh, the epsilon is much smaller than uh, uh, epsilon is much smaller than eta in size. So the the, the, the slow roll condition is uh, determined by eta in our scenario, as in natural inflation. And there are cosmological observations like amplitude of power spectrum, and the, it's a spectral index and tensor to scale relation of perturbations. And any inflation model should explain those uh, observed values. And those values are evaluated at the pivot scale. So at the horizon exit of the cosmological scales, which is about uh, 50 or 60 evolving numbers. And from the spectral index, uh, you can find that the required inflaton decay constant is uh, written this way. So as we discussed already, if the overall size of inflaton potential is much smaller than the constant potential term, then the, the decay constant can be much smaller than Planck scale. And the number of efforts uh, before the onset of water per, uh, phase transition is determined by this way. So it can be above 50 or 60 as required for the, for, as required to explain the initial condition so the Big Bang cosmology. And this is, Zeta star it is the inflaton value at the horizon exit. And as you can see, this uh, cannot, uh, this does not need to be very close to the hilltop of the potential. So uh, our scenario is not the hilltop inflation in that sense. Right. And Let's uh, also discuss about the uh, inflaton properties, the mass and decay constant. And the, the mass, or, mass and decay constant of the inflaton uh, can be written in terms of uh, inflation scale because there are Planck results. So in terms of the inflation, inflaton scale, the action decay constant and its mass uh, can be written in this way. So this figure shows the parameter space uh, consistent with the Planck result, right? So it spans a huge range of uh, mass and decay constant because in our scenario, the, the ratio between the overall size of inflaton potential and the constant term can be arbitrarily small, right? And our scenario can be proved experimentally. For instance, if the inflaton has anomalous coupling to the photons as expected from the, its action uh, nature, then this region corresponds to the parameter space of our scenario. So in our scenario, the action, the inflaton decay constant is uh, larger than the, the, its mass times 10 to the sixth. And as noticed in this paper, usually action driven inflation, in action driven inflation, action decay constant uh, has some relation with the, its mass, like this one. But in our scenario, the action decay constant can be a bit larger than uh, this relation. So this is quite a robust relation in action driven inflation. Right. And another interesting possibility is that the inflaton couples to uh, the standard model only through the Higgs theta, like the cosmological relaxation model of the Higgs boson mass. So in this case, the inflaton mixes with, with the Higgs boson and depending on the Higgs at uh, the, the mixing uh, angle, uh, there are various experimental uh, the searches like a sieve. And the, the 
post inflation evolution of the our scenario has very rich phenomenology. However, the quantitative features depend very much on the model. So here I will uh, briefly sketch the, the qualitative features. And so after the period disappears, the water field acquires very huge mass compared to the uh, inflaton, inflaton mass. So it quickly uh, goes to the true minimum, right? Because of this mass hierarchy. And it, its evolution is almost uh, insensitive, independent of the inflaton evolution, again, due to the, uh, the mass hierarchy. However, this is not the case in the, high, in the conventional hybrid inflation models. So this is another distinctive feature of our, our scenario. And weighting, weighting is also very complicated. However, it can have very interesting features. And in general, as in hybrid inflation models, uh, tachyonic weighting can be very, very effective so that the, the vacuum energy is uh, rapidly converted to the, the energy of inhomogeneous oscillation of water pole and axion field, inflaton field. And then those are uh, oscillation converted into the, uh, the standard model, uh, the, 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 the particles. So it read, the, read the, the universe is heated up to the, the conventional uh, radion, -dominate, uh, radion dominated era. Right. This is the, how the rating occurs in our scenario. And uh, the after the, uh, the the I mean after the period disappears, the yuan kai symmetry is spontaneously broken. That means that there appear cosmic uh, uh, the defects like cosmic strings, and those cosmic strings can contribute to CMB temperature isotopies. And the, depending on how the associated number Gerstein boson get op, obtains masses, it uh, the, the, the situation depends highly depends on how the number Gerstein boson you want chi number Gerstein boson obtains mass, and those strings can source gravitation waves, and the the frequency of gravitation waves spans a huge range. For instance, it uh, it can be uh, it can lie in this range. And then maybe detected by uh, LIGO and LISA. And the gravitation waves of two in this range can be uh, produced from tachyonic preheating. So the, the possible frequency range is huge. And the, uh, at the end of inflation, uh, barriers of true vacuum can be liquidated and they can give very interesting cosmological effects effect and we are now examining those cosmic effects. So maybe some sizable gravitation waves can be produced from the bubbles. And also we expect that some inhomogeneity can be produced from the uh, those barriers. And this is the last part. In our uh, scenario, there is dark matter candidate. In particular, the inflat itself can contribute to the dark matter. This is because uh, uh, the, in the, 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 so as a UV completion, we consider the hidden QCD sector, right? And the hidden quarks obtains mass proportional to the water for field value. So it can be very heavy in the present universe, depending on the water for uh, the vacuum, uh, vacuum value. So it can even heavier than the confining scale. And in that case, there are no mesons formed. So there is only single action inflaton dependent term. So as you remember, there are two action dependent terms in the scalar potential, right? So if there are no mesons, then mu square becomes simply zero. So we have only a single potential term for the action. That means that uh, action inflaton is stabilized at the CP conserving minimum. 
So there is accidental G2 symmetry. And this G2 symmetry makes inflaton stable if it has uh, no coupling to the standard model sector. So in that case, the inflaton can serve as dark matter because it is stable. And uh, the inflaton, in that case, the inflaton start coolant oscillation when its mass becomes compared to the, the Hubble scale. And this is the, the temperature uh, T1. And inflaton lead density from misalignment can be estimated this way. So it depends on waiting temperature, the, it's a decay constant, and the temperature when the coolant oscillation start. So as you can see, the, the inflaton dark matter can explain the observed dark matter density in a wide range of uh, inflaton decay constant. This is another interesting, interesting. And also the water per sector can play an important role in solving uh, some problems of the standard model. This is because in our scenario, the inflation scale spans huge range. So the water per sector can be connected to the scale of new physics for the BSS, BSM. For instance, we can identify U1 chi as patch symmetry solving the strong CP problem. The strong CP problem asks why the QCD preserve CP. So why uh, the neutron EDM uh, is so small? That is the strong CP problem. So if there is a pair zeta term, then it contributes to the uh, neutron EDM. And the experiment, experimental found is quite severe. And this small number require, requires some explanation. And uh, natural explanation would be to use QCD action. So we, if we identify yuan kai as a patch action symmetry, then the phase component of the uh, water field corresponds to the QCD action. So if this is the case, it is very interesting because PQ scale or the QCD scale, uh, the, 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 the decay constant of the QCD action is determined cosmologically. So as you remember, the pair of chi is determined by the inflation scale because, let me see, the vacuum energy density is simply, so this is F A to the first, right? And this is inflation scale times Planck scale. So if we, this is the case, then the decay constant of the QCD action is determined by the Hubble scale during inflation. And this shows the explicit relation, right? And as you know well, the QCD action always contributes to dark matter. And uh, in our situation, the, the peak symmetry is broken after inflation, right? So the domain wall number should be arranged to be equal to one in order to avoid the domain wall problem. And in that case, actions are produced both from misalignment mechanism and also from the domain wall bounded by strings. And the, those unstable domain walls give more uh, dominant contribution to network density. And the rate density is estimated this way from the lattice, lattice simulation. And so uh, we can get the upper bound on the inflation scale. So it should be smaller than about 10 to the first GB. If the yuan chi symmetry is, uh, corresponds to the, the Petrenkin symmetry, this is another interesting possibility. And also you can consider other possibilities like yuan chi corresponds to yuan L or local yuan B minus L associated with some system mechanism. This is another interesting possibility. So this is the end, so I will conclude. Uh, we proposed action-driven hybrid inflation where the potential barrier plays a very essential role. So the potential barrier which diminishes as the action-like inflation evolves uh, triggers the waterfall transition. And it makes the barrier makes the uh, inflation potential much flatter compared to the natural hybrid inflation or the natural inflation. So the required decay constant can be much below the Planck scale in our scenario. And there is certain relation between 
uh, the mass and decay constant of the inflaton field. So it can be written in terms of inflation scale. And so our scenario provides uh, theoretical support for our hypothesis. And also inflaton itself can be a candidate of the dark matter. This is another distinctive feature. So uh, in usually inflaton cannot uh, contribute to dark matter in most of the scenario, but in our scenario, inflaton can do the job. And also because the inflaton scale, inflation scale spans a huge range, the water pole sector can be connected to some puzzles of the STEM model. And uh, in this work, we consider the case where the, uh, the water pole sector explains the strong CP problem. In that case, the peak scale is cosmological determined, cosmologically determined. And also water pole sector has very rich structures because uh, bubbles can be nucleated at the end of inflation. And those bubbles or cosmic strings may produce gravitation waves or some inhomogeneity or anisotropy in CMB. Those may give some interesting cosmological effects. That's all, so thank, thank you so much for your attention. Thank you. Okay, it's a very nice talk. Are there any questions or comments? I, I have a question on the dark matter connection. Yes. You yes. said the uh, heavy quarks are decoupled. Yes, right. So that uh, there is no major form. Right. You don't have a uh, effective mass contribution to the waterfall field in that case, right? Yes, uh, and right. mu scale equal to zero, right? Yes, so right. So how does happen? Uh, so in the during inflation, you have a major Yes, right. You During effective you theory. Yes. So you have a non, non trivial contribution to mu scale. Yes, right, so how, right. Then how do you change mesons uh, from light to heavy mesons? Oh, that's a very good question. So how do you change the, like a bell curve? Somehow you are changing bell curve masses. Yes, right. During the evolution, right? <clears throat> so. Again, this figure shows the potential along the waterfall field. So the point is that the, there is hidden quark, right? So there is mm -hmm. hidden quark. And hidden quark have a Yuga coupling to the waterfall field, chi. So if chi is fixed at the origin, then the hidden quark uh, obtains no mass from the waterfall field value, right? But after inflation, this is uh, the the location of water for field during inflation. So it is fixed at the origin. So it does not contribute to the, uh, the hidden cone mass. However, after inflation, the water for field, at, uh, in the end, water for field will be uh, fixed at the true minimum, right? This is a true minimum. And mm -hmm. if the true minimum, the, the, the packing barrier of the true minimum is huge, then from the Yuga coupling, the hidden quark obtains huge mass and becomes very heavy. So it, depending on the parameter, it can be even heavier than the, the, the confining scale. And this is the case we are considering. So in that case, there are no measures. So there's only single uh, term in the action uh, potential, inflaton potential. See, so, so you still have a hierarchy problem, but uh, because of the heavy quarks coupled to the waterfall field, you still have yeah. some hierarchy. Um, yes, right. So somehow, but uh, you are just all the dangerous quantum corrections uh, in M square. Yes, right. And uh, so you don't have a large correction to the action potential anymore. Right, right. I see. Action is safe uh, because oh. the it uh, uh, because there is shift symmetry. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, in the case of water field, as you said already, there mm -hmm. are uh, dangerous uh, quantum corrections, but if we rely on the rely on supersymmetry, mm. we may avoid such a we may uh, control such mm. corrections, quantum corrections, or we may uh, uh, explain the smallness of M using the anthropic selection because mm. inflation anyway inflation requires small M, so we may consider some 
uh, landscape where M is small. Mm. Thank you. Are there any question? Okay, if there is no question, let's thank the Professor Zhang Kuang He. <laughs> Thanks so much Perfect. for your attention. Thank you. Okay. Well, I have many questions, but uh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, I'm sorry. Me, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sometime yeah, after. Uh, okay. Uh, and then please send me your 